Shy, there's a similar action vocal in How to Learn a Basic Fry Scream. In this short video I will show you two simple ways that will help you to learn a basic soft fry scream. If you look for something more intense, check out the tutorials in the description below this video or get a complete guide to action vocals. Also remember to warm up your singing voice before starting the practice, it will help you to achieve the best results possible while avoiding any unnecessary discomfort. Alright, let's begin! Both of the exercises start with the same sound, a creaky high pitched noise that might remind of the voice of an old lady, something like ah, ah, something like this. Wow, wow, ah, ah. If you have troubles finding this sound, start with the falsetto and try to go towards the vocal fry. But don't reach the vocal fry, just head out towards its direction, like so it's not like ah, ah, but we stop somewhere in between those two sounds between ah and ah. Ah. if it's creaky high if your voice delicately cracks and breaks and there is this small distortion then you have the proper sound ah, 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 la, la. And that's the foundation for those two exercises that we will practice with today. And now let's try the first exercise. It's about the combination of two sounds. The first one is this old lady's voice and the second one is a buzzing sound like zzz, zzz or zzz, zzz. And our task is to combine those two sounds together in order to create the delicate soft fry scream. And it can sound like this. Zzz. So we basically direct the z or z towards the place where we feel this old lady's voice. Remember to activate your breath support as you are getting closer to the fry noise and the fry scream. It simply means that the area of your waist will delicately expand the closer you are to the fry scream. And the area of your solar plexus, which is a few centimeters below your sternum, will delicately push forward the closer you are getting to the fry screen. For some people it's easier to start with this old lady's voice and then go back to the z and slowly work out a combination of both sounds it's easier but it consumes more air for the other group of people that they practice with it's easier to start with the z and just direct this z towards the place that they feel that old woman's voice. You can try out both options and stick to the one that suits you best. The second exercise is about combining this with a delicate, soft, clean sound like la 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 wow 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 
The aim is to build a bridge connecting those two sounds and then to mix them together in order to create a basic fry noise or fry scream. And it can sound like this. There are at least two ways of how you can do it. The first one is about starting with the gentle, soft, clean sound, la 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 la, gradually, delicately increasing its pitch and adding this ah, old lady's voice to it, la 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 la. And the second option is starting with the old lady's voice la, 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 la. and switching back and forth between it and the clean, gentle sound. Alright, so here we have it, two simple exercises that will help you to discover your basic soft fry screen. Once it's easy, comfortable, sustainable and consistent, you can try out more intense stuff, for example the tutorials mentioned in the description below the video, or more exercises that are included in the complete guide to extreme vocals, the newest course that I released a couple of months ago. Thank you very much for your attention and practice, have a great day and see you around.